Hello and welcome. This tutorial is an introduction to using Python with Oracle Database. The CX Oracle is a Python extension module that enables Python application access to Oracle Database. This module is currently tested against Oracle 11.2 through 21C client libraries and Python version 3.6 to 3.10. In this video, I'll show you how to install CX Oracle Python module and connect Python applications to Oracle Database. First and foremost, pause this tutorial and read a note first by clicking the link in the top right corner of the screen. For this tutorial, you will need Python 3.6 or later and access to Oracle Database. If you do not already have access to an Oracle database, then watch this Oracle database installation video first. You also need Python on your computer. For Python installation, you can watch this video. We shall start off by adding a new user to our database. Type or copy this create user command. Open the SQL developer, then connect to the system account. And type or paste the command here. Next, define the default table space and temporary table space, and allocate space quota to the user, we created. Also, grant necessary privileges to the new user. In this step, we shall install the CX Oracle module. There are various ways in which CX Oracle can be installed. In this example, we will use Python's pip package to install CX Oracle from PyPy. To install the module, open the Windows terminal. And type this command. This will download and install a precompiled binary if one is available for your architecture. If a precompiled binary is not available, the source will be downloaded, compiled, and the resulting binary installed. Open the Windows File Explorer. And using Windows File Explorer, Create an empty project workspace folder. Name the folder anything. Now, open Visual Studio Code. And click the file menu, then the open folder command to open the project folder you just created. From the file explorer toolbar, click the new file button on the workspace folder. Name the file python, oracle app.py. By using the .py file extension, you tell VS Code to interpret this file as a Python program. Now that you have a code file in your workspace, copy this source code and paste it into the VS Code Python file you just created.
you can connect from Python to a local, remote or cloud database. An Oracle database, either local or remote, using CX Oracle requires Oracle Instant Client libraries to be installed. The libraries provide the necessary network connectivity to access an Oracle database instance. If Python is on the same machine as the database, as in our case, then we can use the Oracle Instant Client libraries already available in a locally installed database such as the Oracle Database Express Edition. Let's now copy the client libraries path from the Oracle Database Installation folder and paste it here. Open the Windows File Explorer, go to Oracle Home. And then open the bin folder. Copy its path. Next, go back to Python file. And paste the path here. Next, substitute your username. Then password. and connection string in the code. Finally, you can run the Python script. We've successfully connected to the database, and added two records to it. You will also see the query rows returned from the database in the terminal windows. If your database is on a remote computer, then download and install the Oracle Instant Client package. Furthermore, Oracle Instant Client on Windows requires an appropriate Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. So, let's download Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package first. Open the web browser and navigate to Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable downloads web page. Note, the Oracle 21C Instant Client Libraries package require the Visual Studio 2017 version of the redistributables, with a 64-bit or 32-bit architecture to match Oracle Instant Client's architecture. Now, click this download link, and save the file somewhere. Next, go to the Oracle Instant Client Downloads web page. Now click, Oracle Instant Client Downloads for Microsoft Windows 64-bit link. Download the desired Oracle Instant Client Basic, or Oracle Instant Client Basic Lite files. Select the correct platform, architecture, and packages of your choice. For example, if your Python application is 64-bit, then ensure that you select 64-bit Instant Client. Save the file somewhere. Now, go to the download folder. And double click the downloaded Microsoft Visual C 2017 redistributable 64 bit package to start the installation. After the installation complete, restart the computer, if it's required. Next, unzip the downloaded Oracle 21C Instant Client Basic Lite package into C drive. Now, go to C drive, and copy the Instant Client Libraries directory path.
and paste or type it here in your Python file. Also, substitute your username, password, and connection string in the code. The connection string is commonly of the format hostname slash service name, using the hostname where the database is running, and using the service name of the Oracle database instance. Finally, click here to run the Python application. In the end, let's now connect to Oracle database as user officials from SQL Developer. And query the characters table data we inserted through the Python application. I hope you've learned something useful from this tutorial. Goodbye.